Hi guys, it's Sam and I'm going to be doing a haul video. I'm really excited because I haven't done a haul since the what I got for Christmas and it's a lot of drugstore products. I feel like the drugstore has been releasing or brands at the drugstore have been releasing some really cool things involving contouring and setting sprays which are my two top like makeup concerns that I am obsessed with at the moment. I love setting sprays and I'm really into contouring so that's good and bad because um, it's hard not to buy everything but I think I did pretty well. And I am filming on a Monday uh, because we have off today. It's Lunar New Year so Happy New Year to those of you that celebrate. Happy Chinese New Year. It's the year of the monkey and I am filming in natural daylight which i think i picked a really bad day to film because it is supposed to snow it hasn't yet it's supposed to snow and there's no sun no clouds i can't see anything it's just really really white and gray and i'm filming on my new cell phone so that's really really cool i got the samsung galaxy s6 in gold i wanted the white but they didn't have it and i'm so glad that they only had the gold because i love it it's a beautiful phone the camera's supposed to be better and i had the samsung galaxy note 4 but the battery was just shot on that phone and it was just time to upgrade uh, and get a new phone so I did and I hope you guys like the quality I'm still filming the selfie what I call the selfie way I will try to film the other way because the quality is supposed to be better oh and before I get started with the beauty related stuff I also got the Fitbit and you might notice it's a little bit uh, wonky here this is a hand-me-down from my boyfriend he was shoveling snow during blizzard Jonas which we were supposed to get 6 to 12 inches we got about 20 something it was insane. It was a lot, a lot of snow. Uh, but he got this while shelving. It got a little bit warped. And it still works perfectly fine. I'm so excited to have this. It's so cool what it can do. It, ob it obviously tracks your uh, how many steps you've taken. It does your calories you've lost. Your heart rate, which is kind of, um, it's not perfected yet. Uh, but it does the like if you take floors it does it tracks that it tracks your sleeping you could do challenges with friends um, It tells you the time. It's just really cool and regarding the challenge. I've already lost but I don't think it should count You don't walk as much uh, During the weekend that as you do during the week, so I'm gonna blame it on that and I'm just ah, It's so cool to have it Okay, let's get started. The first thing I show you is the Rem Pure Originals Brazilian Keratin Shampoo and Conditioner. Uh, I love trying stuff with keratin in it. I if my hair, my hair is straight, but if it's gonna be straight, I want it to be the straightest that it can be. And sometimes it's it's like in between wavy and straight, and I don't tend to like that. So I am excited to try that. Then here is this. I got another shampoo for every day. Kind of want to switch on and off with this and that. Uh, this is the Suave Deep Moisture Shampoo. Pretty big size. And then this is one of those things where I thought I had it in my hair collection, but I don't. It's a round brush. And I do have one, but it's just it's hard to use. And I just wanted to upgrade. Um, and I don't have one that has the, you see the white things in there. I just have the one with the bristles and it doesn't go through my hair right. So I want to get this. This is the Nexus Volume Effects Round Bore Large. And I have been blow drying my hair a lot more lately. And if I just let it air dry, it will go like this. Like Florence Henderson, it's not doing it now. Uh, but usually it will flip out like this if I let, just let it air dry. So I've been blow drying it. And I just want something where I can put the brush underneath. You guys know and just have a flip in it's at this really weird my hair is at this really weird stage of growing out right now and it's just driving me crazy it's growing out so slow and ew, I just wish it would grow faster so I got a round brush uh, to help me control my Florence Henderson hair uh, next is this face cream it's the boots expert sensitive restoring night treatment and I got this because I made the mistake of using too much Retin-A. I used to be on Retin-A and then I got off. And um, if, for a sensitive skin like mine, I don't know why I never learned. But I put it on like every other day and a lot of it. And I kind of need to introduce it to my skin slowly like once a week. 
and then twice a week and then three times a week um, I just put too much on so I got this uh, because my skin is really dry it's probably a little bit also with the weather but looks really thick and nice okay uh, setting sprays uh, I first picked up the NYX matte finish I wasn't sure which one to get the dewy or the matte the dewy or the matte and I kind of like a matte finish better than dewy so I got this and then wet n wild has a setting spray this is the wet n wild photo focus setting spray and then here is Maybelline has one as well. This is the Master Fix by Face Studio Wear Boosting Setting Spray Looks Locks and Makeup Long Lasting Finish. So I got this one as well. And I tried the L'Oreal. They were the first one to come out with a setting spray. But I did not love that one. So I'm hoping one of these works out better. Uh, oh, this, my, a co-worker of mine sells Mary Kay, and she gave me a bunch of free samples. This is the eye makeup remover, which I have used. Oh, that's so weird, my face in there. Uh, <laughs> this is the Mary Kay oil-free eye makeup remover. It works okay. It's, um, not one of my favorites, but, um, it doesn't, it's not terrible, but it's just not one of my favorites. And then she gave me this Time Wise Microdermabrasion Refine. Uh, and then this is the pore minimizer, which I am all about minimizing pore. So I um, have these two. I only tried it once. I can't tell you, but I do like this microdermabrasion. It's really, really fine, and it's not harsh or anything like that. And this, the pore minimizer, I um, have to try that a little bit more. Okay, lips. There's tons of lip products here. Uh, here is three of the Burt's Bees lipsticks and I'm trying to see if they're called natural 100% natural lipsticks I wonder if there's a name for them uh, but they are such cute packaging I love the way that these look and I got three colors that I feel like um, I, are good for every day um, I did get the darkest color that they have which I do have on my lips so you could tell that it's not too dark they are so moisturizing I wouldn't expect anything less from Burt's Bees and let me swatch them for you this video is gonna be long because I'm gonna swatch everything but this one is Lily Lake and they look like this just like regular lipstick I love this packaging though I think it's really really fun and then this one is blush basin So I got a pink, I got kind of like this nude peachy color, and then the one I'm wearing, which it's rubbed off a little bit because I've been trying to film this video for quite a while and talking too much. So there is, is Juniper Water. So three colors, um, you know, the I got the range and um, I'm really happy with these. I think, I don't know if I'm going to get any more because I just feel like these are the colors that I would wear. Um very very comfortable just feels so nice on the lips and then I got oh you know more Be Burt's Bee stuff I just love their lip products so I got more of these lip shimmers and I had one and I really liked it and I want the reason that I wanted the color that I wanted to get was where is this do I even have it I think it's plum plum is what I wanted to get and they just never had it and I finally got it so it looks like this. We'll put it underneath. And these have a little bit of, I feel like, menthol in there. So I love that. I love lip products with menthol in it. Oh, and you don't want to push these up because you can't push these down. And this one is in rhubarb. And then I got watermelon. Okay, so yeah, just Burt's Bees lip products, I just love them. They're very comfortable. Um, and these, the ones that I just mentioned, they are they last a long time. Uh, for a lip balm, they do last a pretty long time, and they wear off really nicely, so that's good. Uh, next is the Milani lipstick and pretty natural this isn't for the matte line and i saw this color and i was like there's just something about it and it this is beautiful i absolutely love this it's just a gorgeous pink lipstick 
and if you're looking for one to get because i know there's so many colors in this line i think this one is a great one to get it is beautiful okay i have been a little bit obsessed with the nyx soft matte lip creams i had the one in milan and i hated it for some reason but i um went back and i just was like i've heard so many people talking about it and how they liked it i decided to give another chance while I think they are still hard to put on because of the no foot applicator, I am really liking these and I got a bunch more. And I got um, two of the darkest colors that they have, Copenhagen and Transylvania. Transylvania is the darkest and it's pretty dark but I love it. Looks like that. So that's Transylvania, this is Copenhagen. And you guys know me, I love these colors. And could you kind of see how it would be hard to apply? I'm always having trouble. I once tried to apply it in the car and that was a huge mistake. Uh, this one is, you know what, let me do red. This one is Monte Carlo. And then I have, this is probably my favorite, Prague. Let me know which, which ones you guys have that I don't have that you would recommend to me and I could have sworn I had another Burt's Bees something like rum rum raisin or raisin or something okay uh then for face primers I got this one has been all over YouTube and I was just like you know what everybody seems to love it so I'm gonna try this is a Nivea Men Sensitive Pulse Shave Balm and it's used as a primer because it has glycerin in it. It's supposed to work really well. I have used this a couple of times. I can't say enough of like whether it works really well or not. But the days that I have worn it, it seems to do okay. And I got to do, I think, half of my face with it and half of my face without it. So um, I got this. And you get a really big size. And it's not that expensive at the drugstore. I got that at Walmart. Uh, this is the NYX Pore Filler. You guys know I am obsessed with this area, or maybe you don't know, but I am obsessed with minimizing the pores right here because it's just out of control sometimes. Uh, you know when you look in your face, you're the only one that sees like a problem, and every time I see my face, I'm like, oh my god, these pores are ridiculous. So I got this to see, and I have used this. I don't know if it works um as well as i wanted to i'm gonna keep on using it um but i still feel like i see my pores when i look in the mirror and i also got this covergirl post ole simply ages serum primer i love the foundation in this line so i'm hoping that this works as well fingers crossed and then for uh, face powders and contouring stuff like that i picked up the nyx hd finishing powder in banana so um, it's supposed to be, you know, a little bit yellow and looks like that. It's pretty soft. Um, I haven't used it. I think I used it once, but I can't speak to, um, it just feels really soft. That's as much as I can say at the moment. And then I picked up, this is the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contouring Palette. And it says new formula. It's caramel toffee. And I just want to show you something. So this says new formula, right? It looks like this. I mean, you know what? Let me swatch it for you first. These are powdery, but they're so buttery, which I love. So this is pretty yellow, which I used under my eye today, and I really like it. And then this, the contour shade is a bit orange, but it's pretty dark. So um, can't really say too much about that. This was a bad idea. I'm going to put it on my other hand so I can put it on here to show you. So that is it swatched out. So you can see the contour shade is a bit orange. And so, okay, this is what I want to show you. So this, I, I felt like, I was like, Camel Toffee, that sounds so familiar. I have the original, and this one, color-wise, I feel like it's so much better uh, contour with the contour. I just feel like this one is more gray and just works a little bit better. Um, the yellow in here is great, the yellow in the new one, but the contour shade in this one is better let me just swatch it for you guys so you can see on my hand this one's a little bit more grayer this one is definitely paler and more pink 
so you could see the difference between this side. This is a new formula and this is the older formula. This one is more cool tone and this one is more a warm tone. So I have used this one and I really like it, but I also like this one as well. So I'm glad I have both. And then the last thing I want to show you is this L'Oreal Fallible Pro Contour and Highlight Palette. So this is another new thing and I am wearing the contour of this and this one... I got them light because I felt like this was a little bit more gray, which I have heard mixed feelings on. Let me know what you guys think about that. Uh, they say contouring. I have heard contour color should be gray. That's why the NYX taupe did so well. But now I've heard like, it's like you could wear wherever you want. So it's a little bit confusing. Uh, but this is what it looks like. It came with this really weird shaped brush, which... I'm not sure. It kind of is angled at the middle. It's really weird. I try to use it. It's not good at all. Uh, so that's what it looks like. And so that's the contour shade. You can tell it's really gray. And I just felt like the other contour shades, they had medium and dark, were just too orange. Uh, so that's, let me swatch that over here. Very subtle, I feel like, highlight. You could see, see some shimmer, but it's not out of control so there are those two right there and like I said I am using contour and I love I really like this contour I wish it was a little bit the brush a brush can't fit in here but it kind of overlaps with the highlight so I kind of wish there was a better separation or they just sold the contour shade because I think it's really natural and um, you could build it up. So this is a really nice product and I'm glad I got it. Let me know if the other colors are worth getting because I think they are really, really nice contour, uh, products. So that is the haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know this is a, oh, you know what? I'm like, wait a second. There's these two things just staring up at me. So I went to a Target and, you know, e.l.f. has the blending brush and the crease brush. Those were their two kind of like new eye brushes. And I got the crease brush, which I love, but I've been wanting the blending brush and tar this Target had it. None of the tar other Targets had it. It looks like this. I used it to create my eye look. So I put a crease color then I put down my lid color and then I put uh, outer V color with just this brush. It's fantastic and it's so hard to get on the website. So check out your targets. They might have it. Uh, and then the last thing here, this is truly the last thing. This is the Maybelline Lasting Drama by iStudio Waterproof Gel Pencil. And this one is in Sleek Onyx. I haven't even opened it yet. I'm really excited because um, I just love trying uh, uh, waterproof eye pencils to see if they really work because I have the oilless, oilless eyelids known to man and uh, we'll see if this works on me and that is truly the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please let me know how you are. I know I've been really bad with returning comments but I'm hoping to get back on it and uh, reply to your comments. Um, so please leave me one and I will get back to you. Like I said, I hope you guys are all doing well and I will talk to you soon. Bye!